and action uh, welcome back to another video guys uh, we got some more packages uh, this is from the guys over at power driven it's fragile So we got transmission fluid for when we do converter. And I believe... Retainer for what? There's our retainer for our cam. Oh. We just gotta, we'll have to just drill and tap that. It looks like they give you two different threads sizes to pick it from. So we'll have to drill out a cam and put that in. And then here is the adjustable gear. So we can get rid of this piece of crap for us on the first ship. Ooh, pretty. Nice and shiny. Shouldn't have to worry about this one's bolts having any issues. So this is the new pump gear. We still have to try to get that one off. Fun time. Put on. So there's that. Power Driven has a ton of videos on this versus that one. You guys can check it out on their channel. And then in here, this is from uh, Fine Lines, I believe. Yeah, Fine Lines doing business as SS Tubes, which is who it was on online. These are the... Uh, new brake lines for the back of the first gen. So if you guys need some of these, um, it was like, I think SS tubes, and this is for 80 to 93, or 81 to 93 W254 wheel drives. So we'll see yeah. how they fit, but that should solve, our, should solve our brake issues on the back that we were having last week. So there's those, that stuff. Uh, the only thing I forgot to order is the billet. Oh, freeze the plugs. freeze plugs. Yeah. We have to order freeze plugs, so I'll order those this next week. But we're going to try and get the P pump gear off. And I still have to go get a seal for this um, uh, caliper or rotor. Yeah, I still got to go get a seal for that. I didn't get one this week. And then start buttoning up the brakes and hopefully get this gear off. <laughs> Well, you can see, you can see where the problem is. See that? Yep. See that gap, that crack. Do not buy this gear. It cracked as soon as you feed your bolts in. It cracks. Yeah, right there. Feel that? Yeah. You, yeah. Look at that crack. Well, there's your problem. So as soon as you try to pull this gear off, it cracks the metal in between. And then and concave. Then it concaves. Yeah. yeah, you can see it's bowed. Bowed out. Bowed out right here. So. Yeah, that put is. that on the wall for a trophy. No wonder that didn't come off. Do not buy this peep punk gear, folks. Big dog. Time to bring. Uh, what do they say? It can't be stuck if it's liquid. No, we can't turn. <laughs> we can't turn that into liquid. Otherwise, we'd have bigger problems on our hands. Prefer we don't turn my cam gear into liquid. Thought that might be what we was gonna have to do with the the pump pee pump gear. Let's do a thing. Do a thing. Twenty one. You heard that song by Drake? No, nope, I don't listen to Drake. <laughs> Fire in the pipe.
we're protruding a little bit with the cam so we'll probably let this cool down and then worry about um, putting that in for the final assembly but we'll let this chill overnight or till next weekend and then we'll put the but that's all done so all we gotta do is put the retainer on in here we still to go. gotta get this off too, I know right? we have to go get the what if we heat that up no because your p-pump has an o-ring and stuff oh. and I don't want to send heat through the pump because who knows yeah, what's gonna yeah. happen we literally just need the bolts and this will pull it off okay so we got to go run and get bolts and the seal for that hub and then we'll be back made it back with the new new deal put them in our puller and get these puppies off Far did you put them in? So you, you're gonna have to heat it up. Yeah, wait. Well, luckily that popped off okay. I think that movement was just the key way. Because I think it takes like it. Yeah. It takes a lot to freaking move the, that pump. Don't buy this P-Pump gear, folks. Look at that lip from the side. Yeah, toast. Look at that. Game over. Smushed all on that. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's definitely done. So, don't get this P-Pump gear, guys. So I get the power driven off. Trash. Okay, now... We gotta put the seal in. The new, uh, we got the new seal for that hub. We'll get this put in. Get started on some brake stuff, probably. Yeah. What did you just say? Put grease in your palm and work it in with your no, palm. No, before that. Oh, you ready for your, you ready for your rectal exam? Prostate? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see, because we're going to have to find the... So like, so like these two are touching, right? So when you want to go advance, you just pull out, you only have to pull out two, two at a time. Then, yeah. Well, like you have to loosen it all, but... So now... We tighten these, yeah, we'll tighten these, torque them, 77, and then do, because we need this to hold so that we can stop the gear from spinning so that we can. All right, there's the new, action. the new P-Pump gears on, power driven, got this torque to 150, and then these torque to 77. My dad's tripping over shit. Uh, now we're going to get the cam retainer put on. Crap ton of Loctite. I trust her, she ain't going ah, anywhere. Wipe the, that's plenty for health's sake. Well, I would. Here, wipe the excess off right here. I'd rather not risk it. Because I don't want my cam to be. Oh, I, it ain't going nowhere now. Be lucky to get that damn thing back out if we, if you got to replace the cam. Or let me rephrase that. When you have to replace the can. All right, guys. We got the um, one of the brake lines on the back. So the problem for any of you guys who are looking to look into doing this kit the way that we are, um, they give you this piece from this to this technically screws into your factory end on um, your brake lines so they give you this clearance so when i order new brake lines they come clear to the old disc brakes or drum brakes so what we're going to do is we're going to buy a flaring tool 
and just cut the one end off and scooch it back to where this is more lining up with the line, not like trying to make it fit with the factory one. So we're gonna buy that, just cut the, cut an end off, put the, still use the same coupling to slide it back, flare it, and then you should be good to go. So for any of you guys who are looking to do this, it's probably the best route to go, unless you're looking just to bend some line yourself and somehow route it and you don't really care how it looks. So just an FYI, because they give you weld on tabs for your axle. So you weld those on and you slide your brake line through and then clip it and it holds it. So we're gonna get a flaring tool. These ones were destroyed. Both ends broke off of the one. Just time to replace them. But SS tubes, those tubes are like 55 bucks. So if you guys are replacing your factory stuff, they have the full front kit. I mean, you can buy the whole kit. So Yeah, pre-bent everything. And then the new P-Pump gear's on. We got the, power, so this is the power driven P-Pump gear. And then this is the power driven um, cam retainer. And it clears, we're all good, no clearance problems. And do not get that P-Pump gear. So, nothing too, nothing too exciting. So I appreciate you guys for checking in and watching the videos. It helps out a lot and take care of your 12 Peace.